Transition, go! <laughs> Come back here, Black Knight. <laughs> uh, welcome back to uh, Shovel Knight, guys. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so I guess, um, oh, sh I actually forgot about this last time. This Hall of Champions here. I might come back to that because it's pretty short, so we'll see, like, you know, if we have time to do it after we do, like, one of these. And this is also a shortcut that just goes to the second town. It's, it's, I don't know why it's left. But yeah, let's play Arm Polo Knight stage, which is an interesting stage. I want to say it's like, if you didn't have the phase lock, it'd be more difficult. Let's just say that. I think that pretty much sums it up. Because there's a bit of hard parts with some spikes, but overall it's not too bad. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, so just before I recorded this, something kind of interesting actually happened, or started recording this, I should say, because I'm currently presently talking, but in the past tense would mean me editing, I guess? I don't fucking, I don't fucking know, something. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so I was just checking my Twitter, you know, I do that every now and then, even though I barely post on there anymore, just because, uh, hmm, don't know, just don't have much updates for the channel anymore. I use Facebook more now that I play, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh a ton, a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh groups on the Facebook. Um, but yeah, there's nothing down here I missed, is there? Nah, it's just a dead end. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway, so I was checking the Twitter, and I actually got a tweet, oh, well, not a t tweet, <laughs> tweet, tweet. Uh, yeah, I got a mention, is what I should say, from the guy who actually does the screen boundary stuff. Like, oh shit, what's that series called? I've never actually watched an episode, I like, it's been like recommended to me before, I believe. Um,. Oh shit, I needed to jump jump on that guy to get those. Oh well. Maybe I can sort of No, oh, well, that's not gonna work. Nope, they're lost to the void. I can't like use any power up to get them. Nope, nope. I am not playing as um what's his face currently? Uh Plague Knight, so there will be no jumping in the air very high. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> to make this story go on forever, so I only like discuss it every like Five seconds. <laughs> uh, but what he said in the tweet that he mentioned me in is that he really missed my uh, version differences series, which is funny because I don't think I like I wasn't aware that anyone like relatively high profile actually watched that junk. <laughs> so it sort of got me thinking that mm, maybe I can sort of you know redo that. And I'm like, ah, oh, but I just don't have the time to edit anymore. Then I thought, hmm, I have to go on these 40 minute car rides to work every day. I could bring my laptop and work on in the car. And I was like, oh yeah, I'm a genius. I'll totally do that. <laughs> So, yeah, I might actually start working on some of those again. But the biggest problem still, it wasn't even the lack of time thing. The biggest problem for me with that is I still have... I basically use all the games I knew about that had a lot of differences. Even like some like um, like Mario World and Mario 3. I didn't know about a lot of those differences in until I like looked them up. So... Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't charge and jump. That's a bad idea. Yeah, so... For me to like come up with an idea for a video, I basically need to <laughs> like do, like, as they call it on American Pickers, like do some cold calls and shit, like just randomly look up like games to see if I can find any differences, which as you can probably imagine is a tedious process, but you can find some pretty cool stuff I suppose, so it's kind of worth it in the end of the day. So you know, I'm, I'm not promising a video, a version differences video <laughs> tomorrow or anything, but I'll certainly keep my eye open about it. Ah, here we go. Here's the annoying part. This fucking snow shit. I swear, the snow is supposed to fall faster than you, but if you, like, jump towards it and it doesn't do what you want it to do, then it can be a problem. So you just gotta be careful. <laughs> be very careful. Actually, I'll go up here. Boing. Thanks to the lift. Again, I don't think I'd be able to get up here if he wasn't there to give me lifts. That's all this level's all about. Just enemies helping you out. Damn, I was hoping that'd just go straight towards him. No. Isn't there like an upgrade that lets you do that or something? I don't remember. Oh well. So, what's in the chest? It's a... Considering barely anything was coming out there, I thought it'd be a, a music note in there, but nope. Just a very small amount. Well, the reason would be because we also have another big gem in this wall. That totally makes up for the lack of a music note. Well, not like... Well, I mean... Hmm. No, you get 500 for a music note. Yeah, so the... The one in the wall would have to be like 500 to make up for a lack of a music note, I, I, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Not a very intelligent answer, but everyone says it all the time. What is he doing? I feel like he's going to walk off the edge if I keep doing this. Well, holy shit, he is. <laughs> Aren't they? Yeah, 
I, I guess you're not meant to j be able to jump on them that fast, so normally they'd recover before that would happen. Yes, don't walk into the side of the spikes. Well, oh, so I got another 200 there, so does that make up for the lack of uh, stuff? <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Oh man, I hate this thing. It's not, <laughs> it's not bad. It's actually, like, the rainbow effect looks really cool. And it's not actually this stage that it's annoying in, it's the final stage, this thing comes back and oh crap, I hate that shit. You basically need to know what's coming to be able to anticipate, you know, what's gonna happen so you can use the right item at the right time to I'll just knock this off screen, yeah. <laughs> Here's another one. So is it the same one or is it a different one but it teleported? I actually kinda like this part here though, it's like you have to ditch it for a bit. Just so you can break these blocks to um you know, let it through. Ooh, bomb. Ow. I'm not playing on... I'm gonna, I was just gonna say, I'm not playing on, um... Uh, what's what's that mode called? Uh, blah, blah. New Game Plus. <laughs> That's it. Where, like, all the chickens are bombs. So, we're seeing a lot of bombs in this stage. Like, you could just say ex Polonite is a explosive guy with an explosive personality. I get... He's, like, kind of one of those generic, like, stern guys. Like, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's my impression of him. I feel like I meant to. I was meant to jump over the. Nah, that's a different stage. Oh no, we already did that. That's right. That's the Spectre Knight stage. That I want. I want to break. Even though there's nothing in this, I want to break it. <laughs> yeah, Spectre Knight stage. Where it's like you jump over the wall, even though there was absolutely like nothing telling you you could jump over the wall until you actually got to the other side. But then again, you can just like go backwards to try and jump over the wall, which is exactly what we did in this playthrough, I believe. Go. That guy was annoying. He just could not sit still. I'll take that apple. Oh man, I only have six health. Oh yeah, that's right. I I got the meal tick and I didn't even go hand it in, did I? Talk about lazy. I really should probably be more careful, shouldn't I? I'm just <laughs> just thinking like I am still breaking the checkpoints, so yeah. I guess I killed that guy, so that stuff's lost up there now. What's um? Yeah, I haven't. I have a health potion and an invincibility potion. I can't imagine I would ever need more than one health potion per stage. And I wonder what I could have gotten from him. Probably something useless. Oh, well, I believe it's checkpoint right here. Or, well, near here. Yeah, I, got, I actually might do this, because those guys can be a pain in the ass. Yeah, I can't throw them on the ladder, but you can throw one as soon as you drop off the ladder. Ah, makes sense, right? Yeah, I'll break you. Well, at least we're getting a pretty big amount. Yeah, see, it's like the harder the game gets, the more the checkpoints give. So it's like, you're rewarded for breaking them in the harder stages. Like, in the earlier stages, you get, like, jack shit from breaking them. There's, like, no point, basically. <laughs> Apparently. What's over here? Ah, this is what I was talking about, man. Gotta be really careful with these snows. Just use the phase locker to suspend yourself in air. <laughs> Makes the whole thing easier. It's a good thing I did go this way, though, because we have Chester here, who will be giving me this thing, which is the item I was talking about in the one of the previous episodes, which makes, um those uh, blah, blah, blah. dream sequence is a lot easier because you can just like do this like area of effect attack <laughs> area of effect man I haven't like just said that since like World of Warcraft which I haven't played seriously in like ever and by ever I mean never because I never played it seriously I played it for a bit um I don't know I, <laughs> I played it like for a bit so many times like I go back to it every couple years and I go oh maybe it's good now it's like nah nah I, I still find it pretty boring so it's like, it's fun at first, because you go around doing all those quests, and it's like, yeah, I'm a perfectionist, do all the quests. But then it's like, there's just too many quests, so you can't do them all. So the disappointment sets in. That's like with, uh, Xbox 360. Oh, that's not why I'm so glad, um, <laughs> Wii U doesn't have achievements. <laughs> because I would have games where I can't have all the achievements, so I would have, like, a you know, a mark on my perfect record that's not so perfect because I'd have, like, like, I haven't 100 percent in all my Wii U games, like, you know, Wonderful 101 or whatever, like, fuck that, there's too much shit to do in those bloody, um, Platinum Games Games Games. There's, like, three that I have, both Bayonetta's and, um, Wonderful 101, yeah, that's not happening, just not happening. Too much stuff. Not enough... Oh, I don't have enough magic, huh. That's an interesting thing, you don't run out of that too often. <laughs> I suppose that horn does use a lot though, so how am I gonna handle this? That is an excellent question. Uh, well I suppose I'll stand here. Sort of, uh, 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 mm, 
<laughs> I actually don't know what to do. Like, I can't jump high enough. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, never mind. Problem solved. I've solved the case of the missing magic meter. Because I don't have one. I have a number instead. Because meters are too lame. For Shuffle Knight, anyway. I believe Plague Knight has a meter. Because he's cool. Unlike this guy, who's just digging through the dirt and bouncing off dudes. Thank God for whoever put all these dudes here. Like, I swear, I'd be dead without all these dudes. <laughs> it's dude time for men. <laughs> uh, just a little regular show reference to start off the day. Which is silly for me saying that, because it's actually like night here. I always record these pretty late. Uh, ooh. I bet you thought I couldn't go this way and that was just like a wall, but no. You could actually go this way. Genius, huh? Oh, and good, I picked up more magic. Okay, so I don't have to worry about... You know, phase lockers and shit. Uh, <laughs> man, I, I just, I don't like this part because I died there once when I was breaking the checkpoints and I had to like, you know, replay the whole level again. <laughs> because I had the no knockback armor on. Which, um, lowers your, uh, da -da -da -da, what would you call that, traction? So on the ice, you slip like crazy with the no knockback armor on. <laughs> and, like, you have to edge yourself forward on that platform to be able to reach the music note, in which case I died because of the lack of, you know... Oh, it's not there too. Uh, damn, why is my magic... I never. I, I swear, I've, I've never had a problem with magic in this game. It's always like... Can I kill him through the wall? Probably not. <laughs> um... Oh shit. You know, fuck it, I'll use it. Oh, that doesn't even use up that much, does it? Uh, no, doesn't look like it. Right, this guy's just annoying. Can you please die? Or can you assist me? Maybe he can, maybe he can't. And I could go up there to kill that guy, but that seems kind of pointless there. Because here we are at the boss. And this is one of the bosses that actually, you know, creates spikes. <laughs> that jump there, that's so egregious. <laughs> hmm. Wait, what personality did I say he has? Uh, um, some lame joke, I can't remember. <laughs> I was going to do the voice in whatever I said, but I don't remember. <laughs> so, my old friend, the day has finally come. This will be our final duel. Bring out your cards. <laughs> Should we not lay down our shovels on partners equals? Hmm. We are not equaling the same number. I am greater number than you, is what he should have said. Oh, man, my armor just, like, got all shiny. See that? So yeah, I whack a thing towards him, and then he starts running towards me? Or we can just jump on him. Yeah, so, like, the... Oh, move it. The, um, charge attack upgrade makes this way easy. You can just, like, jump on him once, and then he puts the shovel, and you just go down and whack him with the sh charge shot. And you gotta be really... You know, part of me knew that was going to happen. Part of me knew. Well, let's ultra fast forward or cut because I'm pretty sure Vegas can only speed up to four times speed, and which is not fast enough. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, what? Dude, I had invincibility on. What the fuck? Did I really just do that fucking twice? <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Fuck. <laughs> okay, finally got back here, again breaking all checkpoints. And I'm going to pretend that I did indeed not die like five extra times and it has taken me like 20 minutes to get back here because that would be something a bad player would do and I'm no bad player. That's what, <laughs> that's what I'd like to believe anyway. <laughs> Alright, alright, let's just get this over with. I got way too greedy with not phase locketing there. I knew I freaking should have. Like, I knew I was gonna die there. So the thing is with this guy is if you just get, like, a really good run in and get a lot of hits on him, you can just kill him, like, before he can even break most of these. So, like, what the hell are you meant to do here if you don't have to phase lock it? Like, he just destroys them all. Or you just do that. Am I still above spikes? Yeah, I am. It's a good thing I'm invincible now. <laughs> Anyway, I gotta end this real quick, because because it took me so long to do that. I think my brother's gone to bed, so I should really shut up. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a kind of a funny situation I've got myself into, because I was like, hey, can I be fucked recording? Can I not be fucked? 
yeah, I've got enough time, I'll do it. And like, I go and do it, right? And now it takes me like forever because I died like so many times. And now I'm like, <laughs> took me like way too long. So I was going to go back, you know, hand in the meal ticket, fight some guys, maybe do that other thing. But no way, we're just stopping right here. So I will see you next time for, um, I might just fart around a lot next time. I don't know. We'll see. See you there.